had another interesting evening with Mojo again. We were in bed sleeping and I finally was able to sleep because I've been so tired and I have not been sleeping well. And Mojo decided to join us again. And I don't know if it was late last night or early this morning or what. I was completely out of it. I was really in a deep sleep. So I would pet her because we don't want to kick her out. I would pet her and she would be okay and then I would fall asleep so my hand would stop and then she would walk all over us and make muffins again and meow and so it went on for quite a while and Kevin came up with a very interesting fact that Mama and Mojo were strays for so long that they probably are more nocturnal cats and we're gonna have to break them of that because we need to get our sleep at night, but it's very interesting. Mama Kitty has not come downstairs yet. We don't know if she's really even come out of the room. I will check on her a little later today. I'll keep going up and, and petting her. I'm really not supposed to climb stairs yet, but I have to because she has, I have to build that trust back up with her. So... I'm going to just kind of kick back and relax for a little while this morning. The kitchen's cleaned up and everything, and I was going to make another chicken, dead bird dinner for tonight, but Megan didn't come home for dinner last night. She had dinner out with some friends. She had some sushi, the little brat. Um, so there's plenty of leftovers from last night. So we're going to have that for dinner tonight, and I'll make dinner again tomorrow night. So that's where I'm at. I will catch you guys later, fill you in on Mama, and try and go up and film a little bit of Mama and Mojo, and make sure they're not sleeping, so maybe Mojo will sleep tonight. <laughs> so, catch y'all later! Okay, so, I have been smelling something, like, really sweet, and I couldn't figure out what it was. And I know I wasn't baking anything, and it smelled like melting topping on like uh, the cinnamon buns. It smelled like icing is what it smelled like. And I'm sitting here like, why am I smelling this? It smells so good. I forgot. I changed my Scentsy. And I'm burning some vanilla stuff in it. And it smells really, really, really good. But I couldn't remember I did that. <laughs> Hello, my sexy, sexy husband. Hello. How was your day? It was boring. <laughs> We're having leftovers from last night. Look at that. Doesn't it look yummy still? Mmm. I have to let Megan know dinner's ready. Okay. I'm gonna just heat these one at a time. Yeah. There's two whole pieces of chicken left and then that one yet mm -hmm. from you from last night. So yep. let me yell up the stairs to Megan. Right. So I haven't done anything today. You haven't? No. Yes you did. You did the dishes. No, I did those last night. Oh. Yeah, I did those last night. And I didn't empty the dishwasher. They're, they're still all clean in there. I just haven't put them away yet. So. Oh, don't dish Megan's out. She'll come down when she's ready. Oh, what are you just going to put it on a plate? I wasn't going to. I was just going to put a plate out. Oh, okay. I wouldn't even do that. I would just, just leave it. Come get it when she's ready. You know, we can't see you do that. You can see my hand. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, we decided to bring Miss Mojo downstairs early tonight and make sure she doesn't stay, she doesn't sleep. That she stays awake until it's time for us all to go to sleep. 
and then maybe she'll go to sleep with us instead of keeping us up all night. What do you think, babe? I hope so. <laughs> you know, you're laying on my Daryl Dixon pillow. I don't let anybody lay on my Daryl Dixon pillow. <laughs> you're a very special kitty to be laying on my Daryl Dixon pillow. <laughs> So, we gave Bootsy her eardrops again and her her antidepressant, and now she's all mad at me. <laughs> she won't come near me. She's under the table, and every time I go near her, she hisses and growls at me. And then tomorrow morning, she'll come in and she'll lay down by me and cuddle. But Still, Mama hasn't come out of the room. She's still in there hiding. I think on Sunday, if she doesn't come out by then, um, that we should probably put her in the one of the carriers and bring her downstairs and, and open the carrier down here and just kind of see what she does. What mm -hmm. do you think? Let's give it a try. Or she'll probably just stay in the carrier. No, I think she'll come out of the carrier probably and she'll go running and hide somewhere. It's a bug. Mwah! Mm. Mojo obviously has no problem adjusting. Yeah, I think Mojo was somebody's kitty at one time. The only problem with Mojo is he's not, she's nocturnal. Yep. And we got a breaker of that. <laughs> mm. Aren't ya? Aren't ya? You rubbing on Kevin? Kevin's foot? You rubbing on Kevin's foot? <laughs> She looks like a happy kitty. Are you a happy kitty? <laughs> Rubbing herself on the camera. So here's Mama. She's still in the closet. Just laying in here. I came up and look when I try to pet her. She, she pulls back. So... She's still pretty scared. That worries me a little bit. I really don't want her to be this uncomfortable. I mean, she sees us petting the other cats and how much love they get and how much they enjoy it. So we're going to give her till Sunday and then we'll bring her downstairs in a carrier and try and get her to get used to being downstairs. When she sees Mojo down there, maybe she'll be okay. We love you, Mamas. We love you very much. I used to be able to give her kisses right here. But I lost all that trust when I couldn't come upstairs. I see you later, baby, okay? Hey, everybody! Guess what time it is? It's shout out time. No, it's not shout out time. It's shout out time! Be a little more excited. Okay. Try it again. <laughs> I would like to first of all welcome Lloyd James to the neighborhood community and also let everybody know he put up a vlog today. Very good subject. Really liked it. Please go by and check out his channel, subscribe, give him a thumbs up, and leave a comment or two. Welcome to the neighborhood, Lloyd, everybody. I hope you like it. Spasmodic said that more dead bird recipes would make for a good cookbook. Would you buy a book like that? <laughs> cookbook named More Dead Bird Recipes? Something like that. Would you buy one? If that was the name of it? Sure. Really? Yeah. To serve man is a cookbook! <laughs> okay. Oh, you're 
Greyhounds. Really? Yeah. Am I drawing a blank? Yeah, blank. Is it a movie I know? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Is it a movie I should know? Yeah. It was <laughs> okay. And I would like to say that we have a new nephew. Bryce Lee from the Oreo family. Congratulations for your perfect attendance award. Thumbs up to you, Bryce Lee. Yay! Yeah. And yeah. Pope Ooh. Kevin! Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. We have two subscribers who gave us ghost stories. Cat Larkin, I think it was you a while back told us about a ghost story. We want to get five ghost stories and then we're going to do one vlog and tell those ghost stories. So Kat, if it was you, if you could tell us again about that ghost story and if anybody else out there, please, please, please tell us your ghost stories. Even if we get more than five, we could do a couple of vlogs about it. We really, really want to do this for Halloween because it's the perfect time. And if you have perfect photographs time. or any video or anything else that yeah. we can put it together with it, we'll do that too. Yeah, we will. Cool. We love doing that stuff. So, And you guys all heard our ghost stories, so we don't want to tell our own. We want to tell everybody else's your ghost stories. Yeah. 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 <laughs> maybe it'll maybe it'll lose your voice. Don't look so excited. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd have to do the shout outs. Yeah, but you can't shout. Yeah. You know, I used to help out at a store down in downtown Riverside where the person who used to do this used a bullhorn to yell T sh or no, it was stockings. Christmas stockings for sale! And to, so the whole block could hear. I didn't need to use a bullhorn. <laughs> she was dressed as a tree. Yeah, I was dressed as a Christmas tree too. I'm not shy at all. So, anyway, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up. And we will see you all tomorrow.